Assalamualaikum and good day to Sir Nizam. My name is Anis Satiran Tezakaya and my magic number is 28091. Today, I will be explaining about Chapter 3 Organizational Structure on Hospitality Management. According to Louis Allen, organization is the process of identifying and grouping work to be performed, defining and delegating responsibility and authority and establishing relationship for the purpose of enabling people to work most effectively together. In other words, uh, organization is an instrument for achieving organizational goals the work of each and every person is defined and authority and responsibility is fixed for accomplishing the same. There are two concept, concept of organization which is static and dynamic. Static is organization is used as a structure, an entity or a network of specified relationship. In this sense, organization is a group of people bound together in a formal relationship to achieve common goals. It lays emphasis on pollution and not on individuals. While dynamic concept, the term organization is used as a process of an ongoing activity. In this sense, organization is a process of organizing people, work and the system. It is concerned with the process of determining activities which may be necessary for achieving an objective and arranging in suitable groups, so to be assigned to individuals. It considers organization as an open adaptive system and not as a closed system. Dynamic lays emphasis on individuals and considers organization as a continuous process. There are four characteristics of organization. First is division of work. Organization deals with the whole task of business. The total work is uh, is divided into activities and functions. Various activities are assigned to different percent of their efficient accomplishment. This brings in division of labor. It is not that one person cannot carry out many functions, but specialization in different activities is necessary to improve one efficiency. Organization helps in dividing the work into related activities so that they are assigned to different individuals. Next is coordination. Coordination of various activities is as essential as their division. It helps in integrating and harmonizing various activities. Coordination also avoids duplication and delays. In fact, various functions in an organization depend upon one another and the performance of one influence the other. Unless all of them are properly proper, proper coordinated, the performance of all segments will adversely affect them. Third is common objective. All organization structure is a means towards the achievement of enterprise goals. The goals of various segments led to the achievement of major business goals. The organization structure should build around common and clear cut objectives. This will help in their proper accomplishment. Uh, last but not least is a cooperative relationship. The organ an organization create a cooperative relationship among various members of the organization. An organization cannot be constituted by one person. It requires at least two or more person. Organization is a system which helps in creating meaningful relationship among person. The relationship should be both vertical and horizontal among members of various departments. The structure should be designed so that it motivates people to perform their part in of work. What is hospitality management? Hospitality management is a broad field that involves overseeing the day-to-day -day operation, administrative and uh, commercial activities of business in the hospitality industry. As opposed to the more narrowly focused hotel management, hospitality management is an umbrella term that covers various industries such as food and beverage, travel and accommodation, and event management. The department under a hospitality manager stewardship may range from maintenance to housekeeping to spa service, concierge, reception, and many more. The five departments that are listed in the hotel organization structure are rooms, food and beverage, human resources, marketing, and accounting. The rooms department uh, handles customer service including laundry, housekeeping, and reservation. FMB is responsible for running room service, bar, and restaurant operation. The human resources department is asked to handle employee recruitment, training, and benefits. And accounting oversees the hotel ledger. The marketing department is given the responsibility of selling at space in hotels and running promotions. Next. A hotel organization structure is a comprehensive plan by hotel owner to define department activities and responsibility. This structure brings order to every aspect of hotel operation from the front desk and room service to the human resources department. Hotel organization structure are necessary to ensure maximum profitability from each room, restaurant and bar on a daily basis. The hotel can run efficiently if it creates an organization structure that is easy to understand. Next, 
Authority is a group of persons who are in charge of a certain activity of an official level. First is traditional. Traditional authority power is accepted because it has always been that way. Its legitimacy exists because it has been accepted for a long time according to Weber. A monocard with this form of authority usually has little real power to carry out their desire and their position is based entirely on the respect of a group. Partimonialism is more specialized kind of traditional power which is traditional dominance assess, assisted by a master holy personal administration and military. Second is charismatic. Charismatic leaders are prone to holding power for a short period of time and they are just as likely to be depoted as they are heroic according to Weber because they are drawn to the leader personal attributes. Followers embrace the charismatic authority power. A charismatic leader appeal may be tremendous, inspiring followers to make extraordinary sacrifices or to end the face of immense adversity and prostitution. Lastly, is legal rational. The capacity to influence with rational legal authority does not rest with people, but rather with defined, organized, bureaucratic officers and persons holding certain positions have the right to act in the name of such agencies. On a lesser scale, you could come across legal rational authority in the workplace through the employee handbook norms, which provide the employee a different kind of power than the employer. Next is departmentalization or simply called departmentation is a process of organizing operational tasks into job, merging jobs into effective work groups and combining groups into divisions which are commonly referred to as departments. There are several importance of departmentalization and one of them is organization structure. Departmentation creates departments, assign tasks to people, fix their responsibility and accountability to their departmental head, create a span of management so that work can be easily supervised. Second is flexibility. Such an organization should become an inflexible organization. Next is specialization. Division of work into departments leads to specialization as people of one department perform activities related to that department only. Other than that, sharing of resources. If there are no departments, organization resources, physical, financial, and human will be commonly shared by different work units. Lastly is coordination. The, organ the organization is a system of integrated parts and to give undue emphasis on any functional part at the expense of the entire organization. Creates organization island tasks resulting in inefficiency and significant behavioral problems. There are many examples of departmentalization, which is one of them is functional and product departmentalization. Staffing is the process of hiring eligible candidates in the organization or company for specific position. In management, the meaning of staffing is an operation of recruiting the employees by evaluating their skills, knowledge and then offering them specific job roles accordingly. The primary role of staffing is to find competent candidates for various employment positions inside the firm. Staffing ensures that the correct individual is hired for the right role, resulting in optimal production and performance. It promotes the most effective, effective use of human resources in a variety of ways. Next, staffing helps employees' moral and job satisfaction improve as a result of a right individual being hired. Staffing contributes to greater utilization of human resources. Lastly, staffing maintains the organization continuity and growth through the development of managers. Lastly, in conclusion, I hope that the hospitality industry, particularly hotels, will cater to and take the example of proper organization structure in management and truly understand the concept of authority, departmentalization and staffing as previously explained to ensure that the hospitality industry will garner more positive benefit in the future. This is the list of reference that I use for making this presentation.
that's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day.